Elizabeth Warren. She is the author of A Fighting Chance, the New York Times bestseller, now available in paperback. Okay, let's talk about Fighting Chance. The okay. Democrats, uh, Hillary Clinton, are going to be fighting Donald Trump yep. uh, for the presidency. Do you think the Democrats are underestimating Donald Trump? Yes. I think everyone is underestimating Donald Trump. He is one dangerous man, and we need to take him really seriously. Take him out now. Okay. So you're down uh, next week. Uh, the DNC, right. the, the, uh, the Democratic National Convention, is in Philadelphia. Yep. Are you gonna Are you gonna be there? Yep. I'll be there. I'll be speaking. What night are you speaking? Monday, first night. Can you give me some indication of what you're gonna say so we can start writing the jokes now? Because I'm gonna, make, you know, I'm gonna make fun of what you say on right, it. It's right, legally, I have right, to. Right, right. Okay, just give me something good, yeah. Donald Trump is a bad guy. Yeah, I'm going with that. You've said that several times before. Matter of fact, uh, you're a, a tweet storm here. You said your policies, your policies are dangerous. Your words are reckless. Your record is embarrassing, and uh, the you free suck. ride is over. Yeah. Uh huh. You've said at Donald Trump and at Mike Pence, you are a perfect match. Two small, insecure, weak men who use hate and fear to divide our country and our people. And to Donald Trump, you're nothing but a thin skinned bully. Are you a bully? Are you bullying him here? Are you, aren't oh, you stooping boo, to his boo. level? Are you kidding? I mean, Marco Rubio. <laughs> oh, that poor little billionaire. Did I hurt his feelings by, by talking about his? Policies that he doesn't have. Uh, I mean, come on, give me a break here. This is a guy who, who just went on national television and said basically to all of America, be afraid of each other. And you listen to a speech like that, and I don't know how there's anybody left in America who isn't afraid of Donald Trump. I, no, well, some people are afraid. Some, some people are afraid. They are afraid because their, their, their life is not what they expect it to be, or they feel like no, things are being it. taken from them. So people have legitimate feelings. How are the Democrats addressing that? Hillary Clinton's uh, message is, you know, uh, he says, I'm with you, I'll fight for you, I'll win for you. What is the message going to be next week at the DNC? So I think what, what the Democrats are going to talk about is how we're stronger together. Mm -hmm. What Donald Trump says is turn on each other. Mm -hmm. And the consequence of that one is when you turn on each other, mm -hmm. the same guys who are in power, the same guys who rigged the system get to stay in power. Okay, let me ask you something about Hillary Clinton and, and what sort of the, her, her political character is. Because people say, oh, Donald Trump you know, may not be telling the truth, but I don't care because I like the way he says it. Hillary Clinton is not forgiven for what people perceive of as lies that she is told. Even though her husband was forgiven endlessly for the lies that we know he told, why do you think she cannot gain the trust of people the way, say, a male candidate can? So look, that's I, called leading the witness. By leading the, way. the witness. <laughs> and you know, actually, I'm not going to go where you think. What I'm really going to go with is, she's been under attack for 25 years, and a lot of folks just would, you know, they just hung up their spurs. They said, "I'm not going to do this anymore." But she started in, she fought for women, she fought for children, she fought for health care, she fought for human rights. And she just keeps getting up and fighting for it again. And I just got to say, I like women who fight back. Mm -hmm. well, could this be the ticket? Could this be the ticket? Is there a chance? You've already, you've already got matching outfits. Yeah, Maybe next week. Senator, thank you so much for being here. Senator Elizabeth Warren, everybody. We'll be right back.